Okay, I'll bet since you've decided to start using XPad for your field data collection tool, you're probably wondering, how do I get data from my desktop into XPad on my cell phone? And how do I get data from XPad that I've collected from the field back to my desktop? I'm here to tell you that there's lots of ways to do it, and it's a lot easier than the ways you've been doing in the past. Let's try sending data by email first. So let's compose a new piece of email. We'll send it to, and this will be test one. And we'll take and send marklist.csv by email to my cell phone. Let me show you what's in this file. This file is a comma delimited file, and it includes the longitude, followed by the latitude, followed by the orthometric height, and then a PID and a description. I'd like to take those and put them into XPad. So let's go to email. Here's the message. We'll open it, and let's download this file. So we've got that file now. Let's start XPad. We'll make a new job, and I'm going to call it 1. Everything should be fine. Let's import data. It is a text file, and it's in the download folder on my computer. Let's see, this is the one I just downloaded. And let's do a customize, and I'll show you how to import. This is kind of a non-standard format. It is comma-separated, so we'll leave the comma as the separator. And there aren't any points in our job, so we don't need to worry about overwriting it. I'll click on Next. Now, the order was the latitude, followed by the longitude, followed by the elevation. I need to move the elevation down, and we're not going to get any projected points, but the name needs to move down. It's after the elevation. And then we don't have codes, but we do have a description. So latitude, longitude, elevation, point name, and description. I'll click on Next, and you'll see from the preview, it's brought in the points. And it looks like it got them correctly. Click on Next again. I'm going to save this schema. It's going to be lat, comma, lawn, comma, the height, comma, the point ID, comma, the description. So that'll be a name schema that I can use again. Click on Accept. And we've imported 50 points. Click on End. And I'll go back and I'll show you those points are now in my job. Now, what if I want to take these points? export them, and send them back to my computer. Well, again, I can send them out as email. I'll go export, text file. Usually I use point ID, northing, easting, elevation, and description. I'm going to comma separate it with a file extension of text. That looks great. I'll click on next. This is the format for that. I'll click on next again, accept, and it's going to ask me where I want to put them. Well, I'm going to share them, and I'm going to share them with Gmail. And I'm going to send them to my computer. So the points have been sent from my cell phone back to my computer. Here they are. Email is a very simple way to send data back and forth between XPad on your cell phone and your desktop. Let's try another method. Let's use a cable. So when I plug the cable into my phone, this phone initially mounts for no data transfer. To allow data transferring, I need to click on File Transfer, Auto Android. So the phone will reopen, and now I can go to the Download folder. That's where I usually move things back and forth. And let's pick this second file, Mark List 2, and drop it onto the cell phone. That was simple. I'll unplug the cable. Back in XPad, let's make another new job. We'll call this job 2. And let's import data. So the file's already on the phone, and it's in the download folder. We'll get mark list 2. We'll import it. We can reuse that scheme that we just saved. Click on Next. That's correct. Click again. Looks good. And Accept. And we'll go back. And there are our points. Let's export these points back to the download folder, and we'll give them a different name, and then pull them off with the cable. So to do that, I'll go to Export and Share. I'm going to export as a text file, same format that I used before. And this time, I'm going to save it 
to the device. Again, I'm going to navigate to the download folder and I'm going to call this to out. Click accept. File was successfully exported. Now I need to put this back in file transfer mode. So bring that down from the top of the phone. And now on the computer, we can navigate to the download folder. And there's our two out.txt. Let's bring that up, put it in this folder, and open it. It's pretty simple to move data from your computer to your cell phone using the charging cable, and then from the cell phone back to your computer. A third method is to just use a cloud service. Let's do that next. So on my computer, I've logged into Google Drive using my Gmail account. And you'll see on this drive, I have a folder called XPad. I'm going to take MarkList3, and I'm just going to drag it down and put it on my Google Cloud. Now, back on my cell phone, I'm going to make a new job. We'll call this job 3. So let's import data from my Google Cloud account. I'll click on Import Data, Text File, and then Cloud, and then Google Drive. I have multiple cloud accounts, so I'm going to click on Mark Silver. I need to allow the data transfer. So now I'll click on Mark List 3. The file will be downloaded from the cloud into my phone. I'll select it, the data scheme, go to next again. There are my points, accept, points are in. I'll go back and show you I got the points again. Let's export those points under a unique file name to the cloud. We can do that by export and share, text file, next. We're going to save them to device cloud, I'll click on accept. And then we're going to save this as number three, file three. I'll click on cloud, Google Drive, and accept. The file is automatically transferred from my cell phone to the Google Cloud. The name of it is three. And if we come back to my computer, you'll see that it just magically appears in the cloud. So now that the file's in my cloud, I can click on it and click download. And I've successfully moved the file from my phone to my PC through the Google Drive Cloud. You can also export KML files directly from XPad into the cloud and then open them in Google Earth on your PC. Let's do that now. I'll pick Export and Share, Google Earth KML, Accept. I'm going to save it to the cloud. Click on the Cloud button. Pick Google Drive and Accept. And the file shows up on my desktop. I'll select it, download it, click on Open File. And there's my leveling line. I could have also emailed that KML file to any of my customers to show them my progress. Hopefully this video has convinced you that using XPad to collect data and move it back and forth between your office computer, your colleagues, your customers, is easier than any method you've used in the past. It's really that simple. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.